Hundo runs when? Never. I will never run Tears of the Kingdom, Hundo. Never ever. Play OOT. We miss OOT streams. Yes, you did miss my OOT streams last week. That is true. You miss OOT speedruns? I miss OOT speedruns too, and I will do OOT speedruns again. But I also like doing Tears of the Kingdom speedruns. I have become the ZFG of Tears of the Kingdom speedruns. That is true. I am the ZFG of Tears of the Kingdom speedruns. No question about that. No one can deny that. I still like OOT overall over Tears of the Kingdom, but I think Tears of the Kingdom is a very good game. Do I have fun in my full fun category? Well, so far, no, because I've only done one run that died to a disaster in Concert Factory. And that wasn't fun because I was mad. So actually, no, this category has been awful so far. That's only because uh, I only did one bad run. It will be fun when I don't suck. I think, maybe. I've The more I've run this, the more the cutscenes start to bother me. I'm definitely getting to the point where it's like, okay, I, I am really starting to get over these cutscenes. No, you can only skip the voice acted cutscenes. So cutscenes where it's just lots of text, no skip. Estimated length of this run should be a bit under four hours, I think. Sub four hours is the goal. Also, this is a surprisingly decent start. Although now that I said that, I'm going to jinx it and I'm going to die to a bomb dupe like yesterday. Yeah, I am interested in Glitchless. I do want to run that soon. Switch 2, yeah. I can't wait for this game ported to Switch 2 so we can play with no load times. And everything patched. Do I find speedrunning fun? No, it's it's awful. I hate it. So It's so boring and repetitive. Speedrunning is awful. Why would anyone do it? Are you serious? I jinx I jinx my run by saying it was good. That's all my fault. Yeah, I just speed run out of spite. Yeah, I have never gotten a YOLO throw, so I just don't even bother going it going for it. The Amiibo Casino. I for one love that any percent is becoming degenerate. I think any percent runs are always at their best when they are most degenerate because then people realize they need to run other categories. TP any percent is good. When I say any percent being degenerate, I usually mean like when it's those bad types of any percent categories that are just super quick and hardly do any anything in the game. If, if an any percent run is like an actual play a lot of the game any percent, then that's not applicable. TP any percent is actually pretty good. Uh, okay, that was close. That almost did not land inbounds, or was not uh, able to be picked up from inbounds. Yeah, that was that was uh, pixels away from just not working. That was pretty risky. Oh well, it worked. If it worked, doesn't matter. Man, considering uh, I missed the battery throw, that was almost a really good GSI. If I didn't miss the battery throw, that would have been pretty good, actually. I mean, even with the battery throw, that was still fine. No, it doesn't bother me that a lot of people use my VODs to sleep. It's interesting. I didn't think that would be the case, but it's fine. Can I start reading audiobooks? Read the OT strategy guide? I don't think I will be reading audiobooks anytime soon, and I don't know about... I should see... I should get, like, an old original OOT strategy guide. I want to see what it says. I want to see what an OOT strategy guide was like. I know I used to have strategy guides for games like, I think I probably had the TP strategy guide. I know I had some Pokemon strategy guides back in the day. I don't think I ever had an OOT one though. Deleted Master Sword. Why does this happen? I mean, I know why it happens, but it's a positioning thing and I have no way to know what the good positioning is. No, the 45 minutes for any percent is not even 30 minutes of gameplay. It might be 20 minutes at best. More realistically, it's probably closer to 15. Yeah, this game unfortunately has a lot of cutscene. I almost didn't bother checking if it was following me. Okay, so now for new strats. Hopefully this goes better than last time. 
I don't trust that. That's like slightly off center. It doesn't need to be that precise, but sometimes it doesn't work if it's off center and I'm paranoid. I have no idea what that got stuck on. It definitely looked like it should have been following me perfectly. It's weird because that one is like the least likely one to get stuck on anything. That one almost never gets stuck. <laughs> nice, dude. Please? Ferocious cameo. I'm thinking that the shrines should add about half an hour, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I'll know, I'll have a better estimate when I finish a run. But my initial estimate is maybe, maybe like 25 minutes. 25 minutes to half an hour, something along those lines. Maybe optimistically 20 minutes. Actually, it might be closer to 20 minutes. I'll say 20 to 25. Yeah, when I was first learning all main quests, it was a struggle to remember to get the heart containers and remember that the heart containers are not bad and the heart containers are my friend. I definitely would have forgotten a heart container in a run several times if I didn't do a lot of practice beforehand. Practicing specifically getting the heart container. Yeah, I still need them for the 10 heart door. It's just in this run, I'm not going to be able to trade in the hearts afterwards uh, for stamina. So I need to additionally get 20 shrines to get uh, five stamina bars. And speaking of shrines, we're finally going to start doing shrines soon. Yeah, I can't wait to do Pocket Rocket and Shrines. There's a few shrines with more interesting strats than just Pocket Rocket. Yeah, like, um, we do the shrine at Goron City, which is that shrine that has the... the thing where we have to push the balls with a car to push the pressure plate. And there's a cool strat with that where you split the car in half and you can fit it through the bars and use the half car to push down the plate, which is actually a pretty cool strat. And there's a few blessing shrines where like the shrine itself isn't interesting, but getting to the shrine is interesting. Spoilers for later in the run. I'm sorry for spoilers. But yeah, I'd say like like the shrines that we do in this run, I don't think there's anything like super interesting, but th there's a few that are like, oh, that's a neat strat. And I mean, some of the pocket rocket movement is kind of cool. Like that shrine is kind of cool when the movement's done right. That was a little bit sloppy, but I still didn't touch the ground until the end. Yeah, I guess with pocket rocket, there are very few shrines that are super interesting. See, like, the movement in that shrine is kind of cool. That's not a split. I am terrible at juggling today. Did I fall into the... oh no. I'm inside the hole. The hole of the root. Uh, I get out of here easily. I was supposed to land on the ceiling and then do a second stick clip, but sometimes it's hard to... I don't know. This is bad. I cannot find where I am. You know what? I don't think I'll lose much time by just redoing this. I should've just warped out right away, but I just was stubborn and didn't want to do it. As long as I don't lose overload. Alright, that was bad. Whatever. Yeah, you need this light route for this quest with Ravi. Yeah, just another cutscene to add to the list. Alright, nice. Man, if it wasn't for uh, getting stuck in the light route route, that would have been a good split. Close fight, yeah. He almost had me. Okay, here's the shrine with the cool strat. Hopefully I remember how to do it quickly. Well, I was talking about uh, people interested in running a category, not watching. I know watching a category, watching a long category is not not that hard to get people interested in watching a longer category like that. Nice. 
I have not been sniped there. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I love that strat. So good. It goes in the square hole. Yeah, exactly. That's that's just putting the circle through the square hole. Breath of the Wild felt much more popular at launch. I think this and Breath of the Wild were about equally as popular at launch uh, for speedrunning. I mean, both games had like both games were very popular in the first two months or so. Actually, I think this game is more popular in the first month or two, and then uh, had a lot of die off like uh, a few months in. When the like general new game hype died down, this shrine kind of sucks because it's it's just a pocket rocket shrine, but it's also kind of long. So it's just a long series of rocketing. Which is not super interesting, especially when you burn out half your rocket in one jump. The shrine also barely didn't even make the cut, even though it's like. One of the least out of the way shrines because it's right near a place you need to actually go. This nearly is too slow compared to other options. Is like the I think it's like the second slowest shrine I do in the run. How am I doing? I am doing okay. Are you serious? What just happened? Stop! I can't pocket rocket because of lag. Dude, oh my god, this is so bad. Oh my god. I'm so mad. But oh my god, this fire temple has infuriated me. I dream of a world where fire temple doesn't lag and this dungeon is actually really cool. Dude. Dude. <laughs> I just needed one arrow to hit. What a stupid fire temple. Sick lag, dude. I hate lag, destroying pocket rockets. May not be the game for me. I like it though, but there are things that are just starting to get more and more frustrating. Overclock speed run win. Dude, I really should have done this run overclock. This isn't a real run anyway. Why am I why am I going by leaderboard rules when I can just cheat? This isn't even gonna be on a leaderboard. I should be cheating right now. I could literally just turn on overclocking right now. Although I feel like mid-run, if I I should have just done it at the beginning, if I was gonna do it at all. No, I won't turn it on mid-run. No, overclocking is in system settings. It's specifically for homebrewed switches. Yeah, it, it's a homebrew thing. All right, this is another shrine that has like moderately interesting strats. That's not just pocket rocket. Oh, I forgot the direction. I'm curious, can someone check my AM, my regular AMQ PB and see what time I finish Water Temple at? Okay, just over two hours, so I'm probably gonna be about 15 minutes behind. Yeah, 15 minutes behind AM, regular AMQ sounds about right right now. That's pretty much right on target for like 30 minutes lower with the shrines. Yeah, and then considering stuff like the out of bounds reload I had to do and then Fire Temple. I think realistically, like, a good run would probably be about 10 minutes behind at this point. Okay, so it might actually be closer to the estimate of 20 minutes than... 20, 20 to 25. Hello? I saw the press. I saw the prompt. Hello? What is going on? I know that the gate is open. Is the gate not open? Did I, like, forget to merge it? No, it's... Why is this not working? Hello? I'm so confused. What's going on? Wait, no, it's not. 
Why is the... Did I forget to lower the... Erase the thing? I just fused it and didn't... Okay. Okay, I'm bad. That's cool. Come on. Dude. Dude. Get closer. Okay, so everything's bad in this run. This far into the run, I should finish it. Unless, like, something catastrophic happens. Like, as annoying and stupid as that is, that's not catastrophic. It's not run ending. Does this run suck? Absolutely. Also, it's strange how most of the stuff that's gone wrong this run has been regular A and Q stuff and not even new stuff. Except, I guess, for that one clip. But still. Okay, so I'm 18 minutes behind my regular AMQ PB. That's cool. I had a strat there that uses a bit more rocketing and I like half half got it, half messed it up. What just happened? Did the wing just get flung and then like flung tool in somewhere? Yeah, it looked like the, the wing just yeeted tool in somewhere. Alright, I want to check out this clip. Yeah, what happened there? Oh my god. That wing just went flying. Yeah, just like Use how input got heated. I'm just back. always yeeting some Should NPC. Open. Yeah, now I just need to yeet Chasha. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna one and done this category. Don't expect me to do more runs of this. Unless, like, more people get interested, then maybe. Well, even then, I don't know, because, like, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of tired of all main quests in general, because the cutscenes... Like, the, every run I start to be more and more aware of the cutscenes in this run. And I'm just like, man. Dude. That was almost bad. Okay, all the rest of the shrines I have left are super quick. I think three of the last four shrines are all blessings. And then the other one is like a four second shrine. I want to check where my PB is, my regular AMQ PB is at this point. Uh, it finishes Queen Gibdo at 246, so I'm... Okay, about 30 minutes behind, yeah. But I think at this point I shouldn't really be losing any more time because... I have a few shrines left, but I also don't have to do stamina trading, which saves like three minutes. But yeah, this will be right around 30 minutes longer, I think. Although... And then subtract the all the mistakes I made this run. So I think the 20-25 minute estimate is probably right. My shield is gonna break, okay, cool. Uh that's interesting. Nice. Did that kill them all? Okay, so this run does do enough pocket rocket to actually break zuggled shields. So what I think that just means is I'm gonna have to zuggle a few extras. Dude, are you serious? Uh, is it? No, I I need to leave. <laughs> okay, well, I was hoping that this run would be just under the number of pocket rockets that would break a Hylian shield, but I guess it's just over. Remember when I said this was going to be like a four second shrine? So that actually kind of ruins my route because I zuggle Hylian shields at a very specific point in the run and then from that point on every single pocket rocket is going to be doing damage to the zuggled shields and so that means that the shields just don't survive because I need them to survive all the way until the end so that's an interesting predicament uh, I'm actually pretty sure that this one is oh whatever well, I have to fuse a new rocket anyway. And then zuggle this. 
Okay, now I should be ready to go to the next part. So that was a whole mess. Oh yeah, one of the splits is trade stamina because I forgot to change my splits from regular all main quest. Uh, I'll just skip that split. I literally just took my all main quest split and deleted the times. There are several changes I should have made that I didn't because I'm dumb and didn't think. Alright, so here's gonna be the last shrine. <laughs> last shrine. Gonna be a blessing. Regular all main quest would have finished by now. Thankfully, this is so much faster after you get the first one and actually lets you... It actually doesn't play the entire cutscene for every single one. Which is very nice. Yeah, accidentally dying a heart container would be a very fun mistake. Uh-oh. Please let me out. Oh no. This is really good. Just making all the mistakes. Oh, that's really dead. But now I... it's treating me like I'm overloaded, even though I shouldn't be. Okay. I think I'm technically fixed for overload? Or no, I... Okay, please let me still clip. Why does it do this? I should... Like, I should have the correct number of things for overload, and it doesn't work for some reason. Excuse me? I definitely have the right number of things. This is gonna screw me up later now, because I'm gonna be actually overloaded. See? And now I can't take out my sword. Like, I'm not supposed to be overloaded like this. Excuse me? What is going on? Dude, I'm not overloaded. Maybe when I get away from the bows, they'll despawn and I won't be overloaded. I hate not understanding overload. Something something about loading a save is super weird with overload and I don't understand it. I can't shield jump. Why? And now I have to do this again. And what is with... Oh my god. There we go. Also, speaking of shrines and uh, routing, you see that shrine right there, literally right next to an important thing I need to do. I really wanted to do that shrine, but you obviously can't do it at the end because then you would need to go trade for stamina afterwards, which isn't really an option. And so you'd have to warp back, and it almost was still fast enough that just using it as a, like, get, going here earlier and using it as a warp point was almost still good, but not really. Yeah, Link didn't actually bother to pull out the sword from Zelda's head. It's just gonna stay in there. Link prefers the old sword. Message not found greater than real Master Sword. And also the horn from the, the armor uh, poking through the sword. It's actually not message not found doing that. It's uh, Zuckle Overload. Because I have too much stuff loaded, the game starts kind of messing up things with how things are supposed to work normally. Okay, this might actually be close on sub 4. I probably need to actually go pretty fast at the end to get sub 4. Man, this might actually not be sub sub 4. I'm going to be so sad if this isn't sub 4. I'm not sad enough to do another run, but sad. Excuse me? Hello? That took way longer than normal. Uh, is this three minutes? I know you save a minute from already having Master Sword here. The load is like a minute. No, this is gonna be, this isn't gonna be sub four. <laughs> this is gonna be like 400.50 or something. <sighs> I'm mad. Really? That's... Very bad. Okay, let me see if I- no, not you. No, not- dude. 
dude. Hold on. I have to drop this now. <laughs> because otherwise, if I didn't drop those shields, I would actually softlock my land on Zelda there. Oh my god. This is the worst. Okay, I don't know if I know where Ganon is going to go. Where's he going? Okay. Okay, terrible run. Okay, I do not know what to do about the Hylian shields breaking this run. I guess, like, I just have to not zuggle Hylian shields. It might actually be best to zuggle 13 swords instead of... Uh, instead of four shields, or twelve swords, I guess. But that means the hum is going to be even louder. Alright, awful run. Okay, we don't need to watch these cutscenes. Okay, so I want to go check this save file, go see what the time was on that. Uh, so give me a second while I do this. 1.22.30. So gameplay-wise, this was not even 15 minutes longer than regular AMQ. And that's with mistakes. No, dude, gameplay-wise... Wait, gameplay-wise, this should be like 5 minutes longer. Because <laughs> my, my regular AMQ time, game time alone, was 1.08.50, I think. And this is 1.22.30 for the last autosave of the run. So this run with all its mistakes was only 14 minutes slower and then take out a bunch of time for mistakes. Like I probably made 10 minutes of mistakes. Yeah, that's a lot of loading and cutscenes. Man, I really wanna like speedrunning this game. I mean, I do like speedrunning this game, but man, the cutscenes are really making it hard to justify running this more. Oh, well. So the next thing I want to do actually is all materials, which is going to be another I'm making up a run for fun speed run. Although all materials I think should actually be good because it should have very little cutscene because uh, it shouldn't even need paraglider and materials generally don't involve long cutscenes. All materials is a run where I get all materials. But yeah, it should hopefully be a low cutscene run. Low cutscene, high gameplay. <laughs> 